We are going to show you how to do a sharing of uh, inbox subfolder with another user in the same Office 365 tenant. This also works for Exchange on-prem, uh, but basically we just created this new subfolder here called Flyers. Uh, so I just did right click new folder, created a new folder. Now I'm going to give that permissions for the other user to be able to see that folder. So I just say add. I look for the other user. In this case it's Irvin S. Add that user and give them the appropriate permission level right here. So I'm going to make them an author and just apply that. And I just also need to make sure they have access policy permissions. Okay, I already did this, so but they just need this visible folder. So if he wasn't in here, let me just show you how that would work. So I would add properties, permissions, add Irvin S again, and add, okay. And in this case, for the higher level folder, they just need to see that folder. They don't need any other permissions. And you just need, actually need to do the same thing at this level, which is already done. So I'm just going to show you that. Folder permissions and permissions. And there's Irvin S. And he just has the folder visible. So if he wasn't already in here, we would just add. And here you can see all the different users from the Office 365 tenant environment. We would add that user and then highlight it and we're not going to give them a permission level there. We're just going to give them a folder visible. So since that's already done, we are ready to go. And since I don't have a recording on the other computer where that other user is, I'm going to go to the other computer and do the opposite and create another folder uh, that they can share with us. So we'll see uh, the procedure from the other side. So let me go and create another inbox subfolder on the other person's um, Outlook, share it with Alex. So I'll go from Irvin now to Alex. So I'm going to hit the pause button for one minute and I'll be right back and then I'll show you how uh, there's a two-step process. There's one from the sharers side and then there's another procedure that you have to do from the share E side. So we just showed you the procedure on how to do the share and then We'll come back and show you how to, I'll do the same thing on the other computer, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to access the share. Okay, I am back, and we are going to now just um, get the inbox subfolder that we shared from Irvin S. So I'm back on the Alex W. side, looking at his inbox, and... The way we do that is this, basically the second step of the process. We go to File, Account Settings, Account Settings, double click on your account. So this is the account that I'm uh, coming from here. More Settings, and Advanced, and Add. And we're going to add another mailbox to this user's um, uh, Outlook. Okay, so I need to know the whole thing. So it's Urban S at M365B. Okay. <clears throat> Wait for it. Okay, and let me think for a minute. Yeah, we're just going to use these settings right here, and we're going to click Apply, and OK, and Next, and Done. Text that. What is happening? Close. All right, uh, so I think then um, it happens right away. I don't have to close Outlook and reopen. There is the shared folder, and here is what uh, was shared. So Irvin put this in the shared subfolder that he sh sh then shared that subfolder with Alex W. 
and we can see what he shared with us. All right, uh, that's it. Um, actually, I was going to show you one more thing. So another way to do this, instead of using shared subfolders, um, would be to create an Office 365 group. So right from here, you just say new group. And let's say, uh, let's see, Sixers. OK. And I would say it's a private group. And create. And let's just say I want to share this with Irvin. So it's very similar to what we've already done here, except that now it's a, a full Office 365 group. Of course, Office 365 groups can also be converted to Teams. I like creating Office 365 groups first and then create the team from the Office 365 group because I like to have my groups show up over here in Office 365. Also, when you create an Office 365 group, it gives you a calendar by default. Um, there's some settings here. Uh, there's not that many settings, but one of the settings is this checkbox here, subscribe new members. So they receive group email in their inbox. Otherwise, they'll only see it in the group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over now to Irvin again. And I'm going to send an email from Irvin to the Office 365 group, which is called Sixers, uh, Sixers at m365b754287.onmicrosoft.com to be specific. And when that inbox, when that email comes into this inbox, so the, the Office 365 group has four things, basically. It has an email inbox, it has a calendar, and it has uh, a SharePoint subsite, and it has a OneNote notebook. So um, then I'll show you how to create a team from that also. So, and then you can create a whole bunch of other things in addition to these four things. Okay, so pause for one second and then we're going to send an inbox. So let's just go, we're going to create an email here that the email goes to the group, but then it should also come to Alex W's. So I'm not going to send the email directly to Alex from Irvin. I'm going to send it to the Sixers group and then we should see it populate right here. So I'm going to hit the pause button for one minute. Go to that other computer, which is Irvin's. All right, we're resuming play here on the Alex W side. And I just sent an email from Irvin S. And the email was not sent to Alex directly. It was sent to the Sixers group. So it, it showed up in the Sixers group. And then it also showed up in Alex W's inbox because of that one setting. Just so you can see. This looked pretty painful. All right. Um, so now if we wanted to also create a team to do the same thing, that would just be an extension of this Office 365 group. So let's do it for the Sixers group. And we're going to go to Teams, right click, Teams, actually down here, Join or Create a Team create a team, create from an existing Office 365 group, and there's the group, and there's the team. So once we do that, we have not only an inbox or a shared mailbox and a shared calendar and a SharePoint site and uh, a OneNote, uh, a OneNote notebook, but we can also have a wiki and a hundred other things that integrate with Teams now.